Hey, it's your girl LMJ coming to you with today's sip, spiritual inspirational pause. And today we got to talk about forgiveness. Woo. We have to talk about forgiveness and we're going to talk about it real quickly in three parts. Forgiving others, forgiving ourselves, and receiving the forgiveness and asking for the forgiveness we need from God. Oh my God. I love words into divine define words so the first thing that i began to look up was what is forgiveness it's the action or process of forgiving right pardoning but there was one word that was similar to forgiveness and that was exonerated the action of officially absolving someone from blame or vindication so when we move into um an act of forgiveness it's official Ooh, can i tell you something and can i tell you the power of forgiveness is so potent that when we open ourselves up to forgive we also open up ourselves for more love Ooh. so first we have to forgive ourselves. <laughs> we have to forgive ourselves. We have to extend forgiveness to ourselves. And I wrote this scripture down. There is, therefore, there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. And that's Romans 8 and 1. And often when we don't forgive ourselves, it's because we've condemned ourselves. We've locked ourselves into a place. We've locked ourselves into a period of time. We've locked ourselves into a position. We feel as if we won't be gr greater than this. But no, we need to exonerate to officially pardon ourselves from whatever the mistake it is and then we need to be careful of what we speak over ourselves the second thing that I wrote down was we need to forgive others Ooh, because this demonstrates our true nature of Jesus you cannot be like Christ and not operate in forgiveness Ooh, can I say it one more time? You cannot be like Christ and not operate in forgiveness. Jesus constantly, God constantly demonstrates the ultimate, um, the ultimate um, action of forgiveness. Matthew 6, 14, for if you forgive other people when the sin is against you, your heavenly father will also forgive you. Woo! Colossians 3, 13, bear with each other and forgive one another. Oh my God, bear with each other. And if we will be honest in all our actions, thoughts, and deeds, we have needed others to bear with us. And we have for sure needed God to bear with us us so we gotta forgive my god we've got to forgive others we gotta release others i remember when jesus was um going to the cross he shouted out or yelled out father forgive them for they know not what they do can i tell you sometimes often people really don't know what they're doing <laughs> they really really don't hurt people hurt people can i say it one more time hurt people hurt people and then guess what the final thing is we're going to ask for forgiveness and we're going to receive this forgiveness psalms 86 and 5 says you lord are forgiving good abounding in love to all who care for you psalms come on now 82 and 1 says blessed is the one whose transgressions are forgiven and sins are covered Ooh, true forgiveness marks come on now true forgiveness marks the blessing. Ooh! True forgiveness marks. We're blessed when we're forgiven. We're blessed when we forgive, uh, forgive others. And can I tell you something? If we're going to really operate or walk in this level of forgiveness, guess what we can't afford to do? We can't afford, see, Lexington agrees. We can't afford to nurse it. We can't afford for it to rehearse it. We just got to release it and let it go. Let me pray for us. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you today is a day that we walk and operate in forgiveness. We release ourselves. We release others. Oh my God. And we ask you to forgive us and we receive your forgiveness today. Let this be the day that we exonerate anyone in our life that has done absolutely anything let us receive exoneration lord god and let us extend that exoneration to ourselves in jesus name amen if you want to know more about the ministry log on to the website lmjministries.org